Alright, welcome back to the next episode of the Darkest Dungeon. So, uh, barring our usual estate tasks that we do before a mission, uh, let's take a look at the stagecoach. I've taken a look at all these characters off screen. I don't think any of them are good enough to replace what we currently have. Um, we need to remember to use the sanitarium each week unless we're low on money, so... We're actually going to be throwing in a level zero character because she's got a very bad perk. That's the cheapest to remove it from her. I'd also like to get rid of a potential negative perk on... Where are you? On Atomus. Alright. As for our our group we're actually taking out this week, this is going to be a little, a little interesting. We are going to be hunting the Swine Prince this week, which is a rather strange calling considering we have no level 2 characters to do it. Um, mainly because Mama Italy is... and this, this, this happens every single week, I swear. But every time I get a party set up for a boss, they have to be treated for something bad. So we can't send this group in. Not that I necessarily want to, though. Um, I want a, a party with lots of damage to the back row projection. Cause the boss doesn't really matter about that. You actually don't want to hit the back. But a lot of enemies... or you guys, you guys have seen the Warrens. A lot of enemies in the Warrens, the more dangerous ones, hide in the back. Um, and just stress you out. So our party is actually going to be these four. Our new grave robber, our occultist, which hasn't ha hasn't seen action in forever, our highwayman, and Gandalf, which I think has only been on a single mission this, this entire dungeon, uh, darkest dungeon run so far. So these four are going to be our crew. Uh, Gandalf's going to be in front. Our highwayman is going to be in second position. Our uh, uh, grave robber is going to be in third position, so she can make use of lunge, which, which we're going to get for her. And our occultist will be in the fourth position as our healer. We do need portraits. We're getting close to the amount of portraits required to upgrade the guild again. This will help us get close enough that I can probably convert something else over. It also gives us a decent item for the, for the man-at-arms, I believe. I think position 4 is the front, what I'm calling the front anyway. So, that's pretty good if that is indeed the front. Um, as for upgrades for our crew, we've got a lot to make. So I'm definitely taking Wicked Slice. Definitely taking Pistol Shot definitely going to take open vein. I think I do want to take grape shot blast again because tracking shot would be useful against the boss but I don't know what else. Grape shot could be used for for some some middle of the road enemies so we'll take it. Gandalf standard upgrades because he's not going to be in the back so holy lance would be foolish here. Bulwark of faith, stunning blow and probably battle heal but you might take Inspiring Cry. Zell's accusation is kind of bad here because the front row of mobs are really tanky. We have a healer. I don't think we need a secondary healer. You can't even... Well, you can cast Battle Heal from the front, but... Let's go with Inspiring Cry for that stress heal. For our Cultist, uh, Standard 4. I just need to think Vulnerability Hex do I want for the boss? No, I don't. We want Weakening Curse. So, those four. And for our Grave Robber, we are going to be giving her... Uh, oh, she already has Lunge Unlocked, never mind. Then, Lunge, Shadow Fade, Thrown Dagger, Poison Darts. And the crew is ready to go, they've got everything they need. Alright, for Weapons and Armor, we're going to be buffing everyone. They can get two t up upgrades for each one, so be an expensive week. Alright. That was 12,000 gold, roughly. So, I'm not sure if we can make it back in this mission, but we can certainly try. We also get an item I want, and more portraits, which is very important. Alright. sure we can use Shadow Fade in that without screwing up our positioning. Alright. Let's line up our trinkets now. So for our occultist, we definitely want healing, and do we want max HP down in the cult? Oh, we, you can't even take it anyway, it's a vessel. Alright, um, in that case, Junius head should be fine. I think it's, his, his healing is actually worth it. Um, 
Our grave robber. Let's let's take a look here. We got some unique stuff for the for the, uh, the Crusader. We are taking stunning blow, so I'll think about that. Um, camouflage cloak. Who has high dodge to start with? Both of you guys do. Dodgy sheath is kind of bad. I don't want. I don't like that negative ten accuracy and range skills. Especially for this mission. We do have somebody with blight skills, so we'll give that to you. Martyr seal for our tank. Damage and max HP for our tank, because he can stress heal himself. And then more damage and more stress, I think, for our grave robber. And our highwayman is going to take the camouflage cloak, because we're going to have a lot of... Uh, A lot of torch light up, and I guess who wants a speed stone? You're already sitting at one. You're sitting at seven, six. Let's let's. Well, how you know, much really need a speed stone? No one else really badly need a speed stone because she is. We are going to use that blight ability, I think, sometimes. So we'll give her the blight amulet. Do I just want to scrap Junia's head and just give you speed? No, we want we need those big heals coming in. Let's just go speed on our, our high women. Fair enough. All right. Here we go, boys. Um, the, we are going to camp for the boss, so let's do our standard 20 food. Um, there are a lot of curios here that give me food. But we can't guarantee that we're going to get them, so I'm not going to go for those. Three shovels should be fine. Uh, a couple bandages, a couple medicinal herbs, because this area has some good curios for those. We'll do two skeleton keys. Holy water for that one potential curio that can, that, can, that can get us with it, and torches will take our standard 14, although we're probably not going to need that many. Anti-venom's overrated here. A lot, of, a lot of enemies blight you, but it doesn't get you any curios from what I understand, so we'll just have to take the blight. The boss does not inflict blight either, so. Alright. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. Yeah, he's not kidding. Wait until you guys a see A nameless this thing. abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Alright, so we're actually in a unique situation here because the boss can be in one of two rooms. So, I don't believe this was changed. I know with the original Darkest Dungeon it was this way. Um, the boss has to be in the farthest room from where the player spawns. But, there's actually two rooms he could be, so we're gonna, I guess, uh, we'll head down here first. Get some curios. Get some... I don't like that one at all. Not a fan of that uh, curio there. Other scouting ping. Nice. Trap to song. Grave Robber's pretty good at that, right? Oh yeah, she is. Alright. Yeah, if I knew the dungeon if, if I knew for sure the dungeon was gonna look like this, and there is a chance it can look like this, I would not have taken all these torches. But nice! Dodge the trap because of all of her oh no, she doesn't have the sun cloak. You do. above that light level. Hey, bonus portrait, that's what we're here for. Okay. Good loot surprised. Uh, a little bit weird layout. I'm not sure why the carrion eater is in front. It's kind of strange, but we'll go with it. Alright, uh... Lunge has a decent chance. Of, no, that's not a high enough chance. Alright. Shot blast is okay here, but I probably just prefer to, to use the uh, gunshot. Which one is worse? We'll set them both. Continue the onslaught. All right, so Piggy Boy gets to live. Which is annoying. All. 
Probably should have stunned the uh, swine chopper. Oh, okay, he didn't get stressed. That's good. It's very good. Butcher cut didn't even attack our character that was marked. All right. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Probably a stun, it's okay. Not resistant to very nice. See if we can stun you so we can get a heal up. Their formation okay. is broken. Never mind. Maintain the offensive. Yes. Alright. Well. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. We're getting more portraits, which is exactly what I wanted, so I thought that that's good. Triple carrion eaters. Alright, it's too dark for our camouflage cloak to be effective here. All right, that was a mistake. Can't even kill one of them. All right. Eradicated. Not that good. I should have. I should have. Uh, Grape shot blast. Is a, yeah. Ears. Punish. Blood vision. The end approaches. Grape shot blast was a mistake. I should like never use that ability. I should not have brought it. It's not consistent. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. It's a big roll. All right. Now, as long as we don't get zero on the occultist, because of all the healing buffs he has, he's, his heals are gonna far out heal the vessel. Decimated. Wow, some good loot. Honestly, I don't even think we need the torches at all. Dumb as that sounds. Uh, I also don't think we need the food, but we should keep it. Holy water curio. We don't know chance on that. Uh, we don't. We don't need. Typically, the medicinal herbs give you more food and also loot. So we'll drop the herbs. Take the, take the citrine there. Um, the boss has to be in the farthest room from where the player spawns, but he's actually two rooms he could be. Thank you, Dark Souls. Oh. It is a travesty. I forgot a about that. mountain of hatred and rage. <laughs> well, we kind of just walked in on the boss. Um, this is weird. But I, for whatever reason, I really thought he was up top. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna kill first and loot later. We didn't camp for this. Uh oh. All right. Um. He has no resistances, so let's stack all the dots we can. Let's see. Yeah, let's just stack, stack dots on him. That's the best way to go. We're all good health, at least. Uh, we, we definitely want to debuff the boss as much as we can. And he's going to act. Let's see what he does. Wild flailing. All right. Very good. Nothing too bad there. Can't really stun the boss, so let's just go for pure damage from Gandalf. Good big swing there. And these two. All right. So we need we we need the uh, we need Gandalf to guard now, but it's, he's not going to have time to act. Nice high roll from our highwayman. Keep debuffing the boss, slowing him down, giving him less armor. Maybe. Oh, nice! Uh, Gandalf did act first. All right. Now he'll be In able to do that damage. May we find victory. Not bad. Okay, we just need to heal our highwaymen, and we're good. That's potentially bad. Can the boss roll 22 damage? Probably can. Nice. Ooh. Blue red body. Fantastic. It's a character that's got defense against you. Oh, 
Hopefully the swine the swine prince are not gonna turn to act again. So maybe do enough damage here. It's not what I meant. I wanted more damage than that island. It's okay. We could just lunge for him. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be dead. Boom. How many rats will it take to gnaw through a ton of putrid flesh? I don't know, but as per usual. Alright, let's uh can we stun this guy? No. He's got stupid thoughts. So actually Wilbur's kind of annoying. The fight's over, but he can stun all of us. Squeal. Yeah, as a three-way stun. It's a rather annoying attack. It's if your party's at super low health after the boss, Wilbur can't kill you. Annihilated. Well done. Well struck. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Alright, so we don't need what? These trinkets can sell for stuff, but we don't really need another one. Like these we already have both of these trinkets, so I'm thinking about dropping them as dumb as that is. Yep. We're gonna drop them. Alright. So we'll camp here, no reason not to, I guess. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Alright, so we don't want to do anything that gives stress, because we're here to cure that. Yeah, she's got bad ones. She's got... Alright. We don't actually need that. So we do unspeakable commune, and then we do zealous speech, and then we do unparalleled mass. All right. Okay, can't be ambushed now. All right, no chance of ambush, and we're in good condition. Good. We have empty slots now. Okay, we have enough uh, light for the dodge cloak to kick in, that's what I was checking up on. Alright, you gotta die, friend. Again, really good opportunity for this, but I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna kill him. Two damage, not too bad. Light, not too bad. No more drums of debilitation against a tank. It's very good. Um, let's pull you out of there. Grape Shot Blast just got really good. So good, in fact, that I almost can't resist using it. So. Obliterated. Destroyed. Now, now it just got bad again. It's okay. <laughs> Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Munch. I actually did, did a lot of damage because he was marked. We don't care. Oh my Foolish goodness. horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. I believe this is holy water. Nope, it's not. This altar's always good then, I think. I'll give it to... Give it to the like, grave robber. Yeah. Until camp, which is great because we're not going to camp again. Ooh, double treasure rooms. Yes, please. Oh, I didn't do an hour torch. Uh oh. Okay, we weren't surprised. Good. They actually were surprised. Again. Crazy good grape shot blast, but I just nah, I'm done with that ability. I'm not using it anymore. Back to the pit. Excellent. 
executed with impunity. We'll get a turn. Grave nibble, non crit. Let's get stressed. See, other parties wouldn't have even given these maggots a turn. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Oh well. Alright, we've got full light. Not well, enough for cloak to work. Ooh, nice in our chest. Alright, vomit. Not good. We dodged it very good. We need to act before him. Okay. Mark on our grave robber. That's bad. They both act. Okay, what, what, what speed? Seven. Okay, I believe that's. Never mind. A yeah! I'm waiting all dungeon for that. She's got a 20% crit chance now. Alright, what's better? We're shooting you. Nice player here. Just wondering if my uh, abilities can reach it. Munch on our tank. Alright. Don't really care. But this could hurt. Nope. Not much. Alright. Kind of a bad bleed, but not too bad. I would be able to kill the other thing, but I, don't, I, don't, I want him gone. Right, we do need to heal up this guy, so let's start the heals. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, a 5 heal isn't that good, but we're not rolling zeros. And as long as we don't roll a zero, we are. The way is our made. heals are stronger the path than the best. We require only the strength to follow. I am a fan of the occult system. Can this not crit him, please? Good. Boom. I'm sure she's got kind of a nasty bleed going on. But it's okay. No stress. Inspiration and improvement. Stressless party. I got crit chance on this ability. Nope. Not whatever. This expedition at least promises success. Yes. Alright. No one was even stressed, so we couldn't even use that as a stress relief uh, tool. That, that's how far ahead we are. All right, we're doing good. I know it's a, I know it's an apprentice dungeon, and oh, it's the first one. Later in the game, my my bad habits are gonna come back to kill me, but we're doing all right so far. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. The final battle of the of the session. Do not have another skeleton key, sadly. All right, Colt is first. That means I can hit both these guys. Yeah, the grave robber quickens. Grave robber is one of the only characters because she constantly stacks accuracy every time she throws a dagger. She had 111 accuracy at that point. And even though those court, those uh like rat looking things have extremely high dodge she can still get a hit fairly often because of her ridiculous accuracy like most good accuracy at this point in the game is like 95 she threw that dagger with 111 accuracy so that's brother that, that, that's really good she's more of a sniper than the arbalist is that's, that's a sad thing i prefer her over the arbalist for that reason Yeah, that's bad. It's kind of a bad turn. Masterfully executed. I do want to heal off this if I can. Oh, we did roll our zero. That's depressing. Eee. Okay. Uh, 
Ouch. All right. You, you, you've had a rough day, buddy. A powerful blow. Nice. Nice. So we gotta heal the. Uh... We do need to heal up this fight, which is gonna be kind of tough. All right. I didn't want to have to heal the tank, but he's not having a good day over here. Oh, he died. Good. All right. Doing too much damage, Gandalf. Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? I want to eat food here, honestly. All right, uh, we got a sharpening sheath, which is not bad for the the highwayman. So we have nothing to do with these uh, things. Let's try a shovel. Let's break it open. No. All right, we got. Ouch! That's actually really bad. Well, I am gonna use a bandage for that. All right. I understand that was probably a waste of time, but hey, we get rid of it. Let's go check out this curio, see what it is. Oh, I think we need uh, medicinal herbs for this. Yeah. Alright. Not gonna touch that. Let's head this way, check out these curios. We don't want that. We do want that, though. Can't hold gold, huh? Wanna hold on the bandage for a chance of it being useful. Do we know if there's blockages yet? We don't know up here. That's the only problem. But I don't, I'm not seeing blockages anywhere. I'm gonna say... Cut the shovels. Because most of the dungeon is uh, scouted through. So we get a blockage. No. Nope. Alright, um, let's... There's no reason to fight that battle right now, so let's go... Uh, get rid of this trap. Let's trap disarm on you. 50%. That's pretty good. So let's do it. Alright. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, quadruple maggots. Gross. Alright. Uh, again, really tempting, but we're not going to do that anymore. Be gone, fiend. Nice. Another one falls. Brave devil. Okay. Was stunned. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't stun our crusader. Nice. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Our pack is already looted. Let's go back and get the last two curios and that last fight. For a chance of more loot. This was a good haul heirloom wise, but not, not gold wise. Alright. More heirlooms, jeez. The light, the promise of safety. Oh, we can we can drop bandages now. What do we got? Oh my word, that's bad. All right. See, this is the type of fight that could wreck your whole party after you've already beaten the dungeon. So you just kind of lose to it. Get out of here. I want to see this. This artillery should be able to kill them. This fight is stupid. Come on, this artillery. Yes! Alright. Damn, we dodged it. Very nice. Maybe we can heal up this, honestly, but I don't think we need to. Lunge. Yeah. Well struck.
As victories mount, so too will resistance. It's a little more gold, and that was a little more profitable than I thought it would be. Let's go take off stress with this. Um, oh! Good thing I don't have a torch. <laughs> I didn't know that was here. Alright. I'd like Gandalf to trap Disarmus, but he probably can't. I didn't know the Shambler altar was here. Yikes. No, thank you. I'll pass. Alright, let's uh, go this way. Alright, last fight. No torches. How bad could it be? Oh, this is easy, I think. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. Alright. Should we take the risk? No, we're not taking it. Let's kill one. Don't go for the bonus damage. Bite. It's fine. The target wasn't marked. Gone. Hey, another portrait. Jeez. All right. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I guess we're done here. We hit every curio. We hit every room. We got pulled a huge amount of crests out of this. Never used all of our holy water. Sorry, right, that wasn't too bad. We got a sharpening sheath. Pretty good. I'll take it. Ten K gold, okay, so we we lost a little bit on gold this week. We made the heirlooms I wanted. So the swine prince is dead. It's a third boss down. Not bad. Alright. Only two perks we're, we're at. Let's see. Right, so our cultist picked up clumsy and unerring. Unerring is good, clumsy isn't too bad. I don't care about that. Man arms picked up on Holy Slayer. Or, not man at arms. Uh, I went there. Nice. Nice work. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Now, I believe I talked about this at the end of the last one, but I was thinking taking our Arbalist out, but eventually changed my mind. She is level 4 now. She got a free rank up because of the town event, which means she's kind of in a weird position now. No one else is her rank. Um, We'll have to see what we can do about that. But anyway, we've got a lot of crests now. We've got a lot of portraits, so let's make that upgrade. A strict regimen is paramount if one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. All right, we can now have access to level four abilities to train. We only have one more upgrade to make, and then we'll have our characters uh, maxed out on training. Let's dismount all trinkets and. <laughs> We didn't really pick up too many negative quirks, or frankly any stress, so let's remove our party members from the group, let's and we did well guys. Alright, so made back some of the money, but it was kind of worth it because we were able to get the guild up to rank 4, and defeated our third bar, I think our technically our, yeah, our third boss, the Swine King, or Swine Prince. So that went pretty well, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Darkest Dungeon.